Welcome everybody, Drag Hawkins with you, and today I'm going to be starting up, or restarting up, our YouTube version of Emir. So we're going to be doing a series on Emir. It'll be a private world. Well, it's open to the public, so you can feel free to drop in, but you'll only be able to play when I'm actually on. Before we get started, if you're enjoying the series, please hit that like button, it helps me out, and if you haven't already joined the clan, hit the subscribe button, and stay tuned for more great content. So let's go ahead and start things out, and get things rolling here right away. We'll settle everything right where we are. I have taken a little bit of time uh, to uh, to scout around the area. Thanks for the mission interruption when I'm try trying to type in the new city name. Appreciate that. That's awesome. Wallaceburg. Don't want to don't want to jinx anything by going with the name that will send us into careening troubles. There is a herd of nine camels there and a herd of seven camels there. We will do some active hunting. There's also a pi private pirate, barbarians, the word I'm looking for, down here, Minior. We're going to try to be fairly proactive about crushing um, nasty evil guys as soon as we find them. There was a few people that we, when we tried to set up our village that uh, chose this area nearby. Okay, we gotta go right into the village and get things started. So this is how things are going to work. For this recording, I'm going to uh, do set the timer for about an hour. Um, I will be cutting down all the in and out, the loading times, boring things like when we're deleting 43 buildings, I'll probably cut that out, and so on. Uh, but uh, try to get you anywhere between half an hour and 45 minutes-ish of uh, game time. We'll see what uh, comes up and we'll adjust it as we need to. So let's have a look around to get things started right away. We'll put down our water collector. First one, anyways. Slap it down there. We'll step our way through the sequence of events that it tells us to do. Next, we need to start up our meat industry. Ten meat, five leather is the uh, award for doing the following. Getting a meat industry that produces at least one meat. Go to production and find our hunter here. Now, there is a dromedary camel spot there. It looks like there's another meat source down this way. Two meat sources is wonderful. We're actually going to utilize both of them. We'll get that guy going. Is there anything else? No, there's some lettuce over here. Uh, no. Camels there. Lots and lots of green space in the silt here. Love it. That's fantastic. And we'll get the camels going up here. I think that's it. That's all we have for animals. Yes, that is. Let's let that go. Actually, they're going to ask us next to do gathering. Let's start having a look at the gathering supply here. There we go. Agricultural production to superior to 0.5 is our next mission. So we need to do that. There's uh, figs here. Date palms, which is wonderful. A lettuce patch there and a lettuce patch here. Well, that's pretty awesome. Uh, we can fill it, catch it all right there. Uh, can we? Not quite, huh? Uh, let's put another one down on this patch. Let's see. We put it out here and start driving her towards spot. Where do we get nine? Point nine is right there. Huh? Well, this spot will be just as fine. So that's two of them working that, and a couple of date palms. Huh? Can we get uh, can we get a good solid growth over here? There's a point nine here. That's catching basically all of this stuff. Ah, next is the tool industry. Let's finish that one, however. I want to get the date palms going. Good, good, good. Uh, any other source for date palms? I don't think so. It's pretty good, though. We got two lettuce and a date palm production. Next is the tool industry. That requires us to harvest flint, so let's do that out in the boonies here. And then the next one's going to be... I want to put it at least three or four tiles away. Um, I like three tiles or four tiles maybe between them, so we'll do that. And then we'll go ahead and set up our tools. Anywhere over here is fine, we can move that out later. Now, the other thing we're going to need is wood cutting, and there's not a ton of wood here. Actually, there's a good amount down there, but uh, all of it seems to be riverside. And this is going to be an issue when we do agriculture. But by then, maybe we'll be able to shuffle the effort away from this tile. 
There's a point four or five up there. It's kind of off to the side. How far out can we get together? Uh, still point four five. Yeah, if we go there, we get point four five there, and I'd like another one to gather some wood, maybe up in here. This is mostly. It looks like we're gonna have to gather some from down there. Okay. That'll be two wood harvesting facilities. Probably more than we need. We got the gathering. How about the tools? Uh, currently not. We've got the buildings, but not producing. How are we doing? Now, I noticed something recently. There is an option here to change it to higher priority. We could also just say hire one, and it forcibly removes somebody from somewhere and puts them to work here. We're going to hire two of them, get that started. <clears throat> then they will produce a hammer. And that's what we need, I believe. Point four hammers, actually, is, was the requirement. So once that ticks over, we're good. I'm going to go ahead and select the lettuce. And all of our food crops, actually, are going to have this requirement. Oh, there we go. Wood industry finished. Uh, said to produce point four, huh? Or point four five, was it wood? Point four wood. That should tick over as soon as it happens. As soon as they get the first tick of production. All of our food stocks, we're going to say, hold... Um, Old 25 of for the javelins. I'm going to say you got to make sure you stockpile at least 10. And meat, we're going to do the 25 as well. <coughs> uh, wood, let's stockpile to 25 as well. <coughs> Pardon me, hammers, we can go ahead and use at will. I think leather's fine. Flint's actually in the negative. Our water supply is not sufficient. Well, they want two, we're only getting two points, but we're going to wait because having the limit will require them, will inspire them to suggest getting, uh, yeah, we have nobody working in wood. Uh, having the limit of one is going to inspire them to give us well technology, and I just need to have the technology triggered. I don't even need to, uh, to do anything with it. I don't even need them to actually, um, make it happen at this point. There we go, that finished. The wood mission and the napping wife event. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> There's a napping wife, nagging wife. Uh, one parker in the village of Wallaceburg, exacerbated by his constant nagging of his sow, decided to go on a lonely retreat to the wilderness to hunt, and thus he disappeared for several days. Many feared he would never return, but on the fifth day he came back, carrying with him the spoils of his of what had turned out to be a, gratefully suc a greatly successful hunt. <clears throat> he was cheered by the whole tribe. His wife, however, was not pleased and left him with the piglets to live at her mother's tribe on the other side of the valley. Oh, very well. We received 20 wood, or 20 meat and 15 leather. That's good for the, uh, for the hunt. Bad for his particular family life. Uh, defending the tribe is our next mission, so we'll go ahead and do that one. New formation, we'll plop it down anywhere. It's not going to last, cheesemongers. All right, go ahead. Uh, the job is to make um, 20, 20 rock throwers. So we'll double up that number if it'll open. There we go. And another 10 rock throwers. That's the 20 we need for the mission. Thank you very much. Mission accomplished. We are effectively defending, very poorly, defending the tribe. Sedentism is needed now, so let's go ahead and get our six farmers to work on that project. It takes about 38 seconds, that's fine. And the next mission is just to have completed that. Let's look at the layout here. There is a terrain uh, that's open there, and then this is open here. That one's alright. How about this one down here? This one's entirely closed except for this section in here. We could make this our citadel. I think I like that idea. So let's go ahead over to here, see if we can go to Militia and build a wall. There. Oh, hello. I have ten houses in the territory. We'll work on that. So the deal is, I need to build there. No, that's not going to let me. Hmm. Oh, eight families have come to live among us. Thank you. Uh, okay, and I think it just interrupted my build again. There we go. There. 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 And there. 
love it. Can we put a bridge in here now? Or a gate in here now? We can. There we go. So now we have that whole plateau nicely blocked off and it looks much better now. So the deal is I'm going to grab the formation of the cheesemongers. We're going to relocate them to the top of this plateau. They can hang out right on the edge of it. Uh, you know what? Actually, it looks weird how it kind of moved things. Shuffle them over this way. There we go. We got them placed. Now, cheesemongers are going to be in a strategic area, and that strategic zone, let's cancel that one. This defensive zone is going to be here. Yes! Perfect. Just on top of the plateau. And you and you can come on to that defensive zone. Not multiples, just defensive zone one, please. Excellent. And I actually want you guys to kind of park and hang out like this. That's how you're going to start when the event comes. There we go. We're done. Defenses are operational. How are we doing on water? Well, not so great. So, we finished sedentary life, and our next mission is to knowledge of sedentism. That was our success. Our herd of camels has arrived. Good. We'll deal with those in a second. Building the first houses. Okay, so housing is going to be probably out this way. Let's start housing this way, shall we? I don't mind the housing being down in front here. Thank you. Thank you for interrupting. Gotta love those interrupting missions. Moo. No. No, oh, we had another naggy wife. Well, generally in the human world that doesn't, that's not a good thing, but apparently in cow world, I mean in pig world, that's good for the village. Do you like fish sticks? Well, yes I do. So events happen based, ideas basically, if you're new to uh, me, this is how it works. Certain criteria have to be met for them to for your porcos to come up with ideas, like uh, you have to actually have all those initial things set up before you can get the sedentary life mission. Okay, it is in part of that. It is part of that sequence. That opens up the ability to have housing. Once you have housing, you is one of the prerequisites sort of things to later technologies related to houses. Um, having water access, I believe, is uh, required for. Well, there is actually fish here. Now, I've had fishing spawn, do you like fish sticks event, um, spawn, uh, earlier on. Earlier on than, uh, earlier on than the water event, but the army, the lightning, let's grab the lightning. Now, we have a mission to do this, so we're going to get three of these fine fellows that are carriers. They're basically just ex there to haul around the goods that our hunters find either in their exploration or in their actual hunts. So we'll go ahead and do that. That's the 10 we need. First explorers finished. Good. That's going to give us 20 more wood. Now we can also grab these guys. The difference between the army and the militia is the militia is stationary and they do not pull troops out of the population. So these 20 people for the cheesemongers are actually still part of the population, all right? We have zero available worker or inactive workers, so zero unemployment, but also zero available jobs. So we're actually exactly using what we need right now. We have very low satisfaction of our vital needs, so we're actually losing health from our population. Culture is growing, loyalty is increasing, uh, but so is conflict, and that's because we're having issues with our people not having enough food. Right now we have 40 sows, so that gives us a good idea of how many independent households, you know, bar the two, the two that got themselves in, you know, into a bit of trouble there with the missus. So once we get enough uh, stone or um, hammers stocked and enough, um, where is it, leather, we can go ahead and increase our uh, number of houses as we go. Basically, every 10 ho 10 hammers or so it will give us another 10 houses. Uh, we have 30 now. I'm going to actually go ahead and before we go on a little bit of a, a random hunt into the take our group that we just made. Before I take them hunting, we'll go ahead and plop down five more houses. Get that working. And I'm going to grab these uh, stockpiles and move them off into here. We'll give them a decent, uh, decently spaced location. And let's leave 
enough space to do some uh, some walls. But I'll go ahead and do that off screen and we'll be right back once it's all stocked for you. Okay, so I got most of these moved up here. Let's build a few more to flesh out the amount of storage that we'll have up here. I love this citadel. It's a fantastic spot for us. We're going to leave enough room to run a single tile road around the outside. Around the outside. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, and then we're going to uh, have room for also putting up... Uh, that's too close, actually. Finish, please, and I'll move you. Uh, and then we'll we'll have a wall around the outside, very outside of it, and then we'll make sure we have a path space, so that can go there. Okay, and then we are going to the rest is going to be storage up here, and we might put some like government-based buildings up here, perhaps. Uh, but other than that, we'll probably. Uh, can work. You guys can shuffle around. You don't need to be up here, uh, do you? Yeah, we'll slide you over to the edge. Not even all the way. You're going to be moving anyways, to be honest, so that's pointless to be fussing with you. You can go right there. I don't really care. Uh, that's probably enough right there. It's probably overkill, actually, right there on the storage. All right, now we also got an event that popped us some extra hammers, 15 extra hammers, so we will go ahead and use those up. Four, five, and I think we'll put the 50, a stack of, uh, a supply of 50 houses along here. Nice, solid number for us to go with. We have 50 houses there. We currently have 42 households, approximately. 42 households. We have one inactive awesome um, so now that these houses are being built we don't need all these slums here everybody's still living in the slums and few people have moved into the new housing so we are going to go ahead and um, let them know that they can move elsewhere right now they're just gonna hang out here so uh, let's click on there and let's see options tear it down and recover some of the material nope. I don't see any option to do this any quicker. I was told if you right click uh, that it works, but I'm not seeing it. Anyways, I will go do this off screen and we'll be back in a moment. Alright, finishing up the last demolitions of these houses and a couple events have happened. One, uh, the Do You Like Fish Sticks has failed, so we're going to send that right back to work. Five new hunters, they'll cost ten more wood and get back at it. It's going to take them eight minutes to do so, but unfortunate. Uh, we do need, this one is stacking stones, uh, stone buildings. It allows us the stone cutters camp and the forum number one, uh, both of which are good buildings. <clears throat> uh, we currently have only uh, two hammers, three hammers stocked. We need ten of them, so we'll have to wait on that. We also don't have any inactive units. Okay, so... Here's, here's what's going to happen. There is a raid coming in. Um, we'll actually have a look and see how that works out. But for now, these strategic uh, tool needs to be adjusted. So the lightning. You know what? We won't do the lightning right now. Can I move them out? Let's go out to the map. See if I can move them before, before that event sparks. If so, I will definitely do that. Lightning needs to move. Lightning can go over here. Are you not available? Why can I not select you? There you are. All right, guys, there is what? Some goats up here. 51 goats up here. There's seven her seven camel, and there's sand camel. Okay. Let's get up here and hunt some of these goats, shall we? Is anyone let you do it? It is. Looks like they're fine to go ahead and do that. So they're going to hunt the goats up in the hills here. And uh, in the meantime, there's an event. The Asylum Seekers are looking... These Asylum Seekers, eight families. That's eight sows, eight porcos, 16 to 24 piglets, and uh, some corresponding uh, senior pigs. They would like to join us. They are as seeking asylum. We could capture these refugees and offer them uh, to justice of their pursuers. 
uh, for a reward that would give us 15 loot. Or we can fight those pursuers, those 10 barbarian warriors, and uh, allow the eight families to join us. I think it's a no-brainer. We'll allow them to join us, especially considering our cheesemongers are going to be guarding the hills here for us. So it, this may crash my game. But we'll see if it does. I'll just skip back and you won't miss any time. But I'm going to go ahead and look into Wallaceburg here and see how the battle pursue uh, how the battle ensues all right so right now i'm at about half half an hour of recording time and we'll see what that how that sets for time in game but uh there should be a battle going on here we did get the population to join us we now have 29 uh percent unemployment so 11 inactives We're at 50 sows right now, so I would like to, if we have the supplies, when we have the supplies for it, uh, increase our housing just a little bit. Even just putting a couple more houses down is probably going to make me feel better. I know that's using them all up, but I am also thinking, since we are waiting on, yeah, this activity didn't seem to spark the, the fight, or they just instantly died or just left. Maybe they didn't pursue us, I don't know. We are really short on water, but I'm going to f force them to hold off. I'm not going to supply them with water. And the reason is I really, really want somebody to think of the idea of finding water in the ground. In case, in future, we want to settle somewhere, which we'll have a look at soon, that doesn't have water or rivers. That would be very advantageous. There comes the fight. Uh, the goat hunt is finished successfully. That's good. Uh, we managed to... Oh, man. We lost four warriors to do it, but we killed, well, ten goats, I think. Yeah, we lost those. That group lost five. That group lost five. We lost four of our warriors. We got 20 leather and 82 hide, or meat out of it. Looks like there they come, trying to bash their way through the door and getting rocks flung at their heads. Oh, look at it. See, the defenses? They're going to sit there and try to bash down the door. It's at 34% right now. You hear it? You can kind of hear the bang smash sounds. I'm going to actually up the sound volumes. I had them had it down pretty low from streaming. I don't mind a little bit extra volume. There, let's do that. Let me know if the balance is okay for you guys. I'll be checking it out post post process. There we go. We have we have finished off the evil ones. Looks like these guys are trying to walk around and see, make sure everybody's still okay. All the storage was nicely stored inside, so we shouldn't have lost anything from that fight. And we have our 11 inactives now. That's great. What else do we have? Do we have any more hammers? We got one more. I'm going to go ahead and build that one house. I'd like to up our stockpile here. So we've got the still 11. Yeah, yeah, nothing's changed. 11 inactives. So let's go ahead and uh, increase our flint gathering capacity. We had that going on over here. So let's go ahead with, uh, did we do four tiles last time? Four tile spread, yes we did. See if that will keep the amount we need. It does. If I go much closer, does it start affecting it? No, it doesn't seem to. I gotta go right over there to do it. So we'll go to four. And I'll keep the line going out there to four again. There we go. And uh, another tool maker. He was over here somewhere, yeah. Let's bring him down kind of to the what will be probably the industrial area right along here. Get him working there, and this guy can move his shop over this way as well. I like this. Nicely along the front here where we'll have all the, the industrial area. Our crops will grow over here once we get agriculture going. A uh, group of ten barbarians raided, left the village of Minyor, is on its way to raid us. Well, that's unfortunate. How about we come back here and uh, let that raid happen on its own. Looks like they're doing their thing. Yep, they're already in there fighting away. We've got the 08 raiders are there. There's our group. There's our hunters. What did you guys manage to get? We lost a bunch of crew, but 50 meat... And 13 leather. Now I'm going to let's say move them down here for the moment. I think I've 
explored most of this area or searched out anyways I have I have searched what's in those tiles so let's uh, let's have a look around uh, we're gonna number them in our own little world starting up here this will be the center point the capital and off to the top left is gonna be tile one so if I say this is you know uh, zone one two region one two three four five six seven eight and then we'll start back up here at 9 10 11 12 13 and so on all the way around Ah, project you like fish sticks has concluded excellent so let's look at tile number one here first of all and we'll have a look at what it has to offer um, basically one to five has just about nothing there's a little bit of silver in five um, but we have some I'll, I'll scout this out for you guys well should we look at them all I guess not maybe we will let's let's just uh, I'll I'll zoom out I'll edit when they're once edit things once the screens have loaded that'll give you some time to look at them briefly without having to wait on all this silly load time okay so from our central place this will be to the northwest it's basically a very large barren deserty sandy hill there's pretty much nothing going on here did we just get oh hello uh, defense of Wallaceburg uh, eight of their Eight of them came in to try to fight. Eight losses, no kills on their side. So all apparently nine kills on our side with only eight. In there. That's weird. But anyways, we killed off some, one of their warriors and one of them dropped his weapon. We got it back. They managed to loot nothing from us. Excellent. Uh, hunting companions, domestic dogs. That's going to be great. That one actually, I, I used to think, oh, that's weird. It does nothing. But it actually is a requirement for hunter, le hunter post level two. Right now it says allows nothing. And uh, the, it'll allow certain things when we have other techs. So some of these techs um, require multiples for there to be an effect. And we want this one because the effect is part of the tech 2 builder or uh, hunters. So this is zone 1 to the northwest of our base. It's really just nothing to it. It's uh, lots of gravel, lots of sand, and lots of, what is this, sandstone. So nothing useful here. On the whole place you can see some goats walking around here but that is just the meandering tribe of goats I'm gonna grab the lightning here and tell them to head back into Wallaceburg uh, right away they'll go there and they can dump off their supplies they have brought home 50 meat that's wonderful and they brought home 13 leather also wonderful uh, the cheesemongers here I'm going to actually take them and we will disband let's say five of your guys so there'll be 15 rock throwers there and then I'm going to grab the lightning and disband the six hunters switch them up to rock throwers and we'll grab the 10 rocks and the rock throwers and send them out to hunt some more so let's go after some camels this time shall we send them up to the northeast and hunt some camels in the meantime we'll look at the uh, the village we did get fish sticks right so let's go into Wallaceburg and see what fish sticks is good for all right so we are in Wallaceburg back in Wallaceburg gonna look at getting our fish sticks industry going it takes two javelins to do this so you make sure you have those um, available you do start with six of them from your initial spawn so I think that's the only fish or fish group here right yeah no other fishing Okay, we got the one fishing hunt. So that'll be good. That'll add a separate foods type to them. So right now they have lettuce and they have figs. Let's see, what are we providing? 1.4 of their demanded 3. That's all right. 0.7 of their demanded 3. And we're stockpiling some for that, for the figs. Uh, fish, they're going to give them... Apparently we have some fish from somewhere. But they're only going to gather 6. Hmm. I don't think we need fish to be actually a stocked resource, do we? Yeah, they only get 0.6 out of this. So it's not great, but it's something. And uh, they are demanding two, so they'll only get you know, less than about 30% well, about of their demand out of that. The hunting companions was successful. That's good. Now, we have our hunting cannons over here. So until we get the other tech, which I will let you know is javelins, uh, until we get the other tech, we won't be able to upgrade it. But once we do, we have the dogs to help out. 
Uh, and then meat, we have uh, ideally needed two, demanding two, and our supply is actually two. We're getting 2.4, and so we're actually stockpiling meat, which is fantastic, having two meat sources. These camels bring in 1.2 meat and 0.4 leather, with the four workers running 100%. This is the workforce. The usage is 100%, so they are using every bit of workforce they can to gather as much as they possibly can for, the, for that uh, gathering camp. And then we'll check the other one. How's it doing? Other one's also at 100% of its 2.4 workforce and gathering the same amount of meat and supplies. The camel hunt is finished. We killed, all, we killed four of the camels, four of the four camels, and got some 60 meat and 15 leather. We'll bring them into town, drop off their stuff, and get them to hunt some more. There we go. And this time we managed to not lose any of our pork goes in the process. <clears throat> I'm actually going to send them uh, another excep exceptional tools day for our workers. Uh, I'm going to get these guys to drop off their goods and then we'll send them after the cam or the, the goats again. See if it's the goats that made the difference or if it was the camels or the, the animals that made the difference or the warriors we have. So we had warriors attacking the goats last time and they lost four of their ten. When they attacked this new group, which is rock throwers instead, attacked the camels, they did much better, didn't lose anyone to the fight. There was only four of them, so this group has, of course, like 41 there. So that might be a factor as well. A little bit of experimenting. So let's have a look at the desert to the north of us. All right, so we're in the northern desert, one tile north of us. And as you can see, it's just barren rocks. It's poor ground, gravelly ground, gravelly sand, nothing to it. There's a few birds flying around and some cactus. So nothing up here. All right, and to the northeast where we hunted those camels, there is also nothing. Just dirt and sand and rocks and gravel. Not even any, like, actual mineable rock. And Region 4, uh, we just got a new opportunity for a new technology. That is the technology of property. <clears throat> the tribe is now growing bigger. And since we decided to settle down, we now have many objects and tools much more than we than the ancients used to have in their nomadic lives. But a strange thing is happening, as this abundance of things seems to have created tension among us. Some porcos who spent a lot of time crafting things recent uh, resent sorry, having to share them with others they don't feel are doing as much as them. One porco is proposing that we all agree not to take things from another family without their permission. Strange concept, but these are strange times. So that the, opens up the properties uh, research. That's great. We can have 10 farmers. We'll put all nine of our 10, farm, the 10 farmers on there. Uh, you need two free knowledge space for that. And I will actually take a second to show that concept to you as well while the goat hunt continues. <clears throat> Over here uh, on the knowledge page, we click up here in the big uh, government tab here. And uh, it'll show our government name. We can adjust that any time. Various policies, state power policies, legitimacy, treasury, and social policies. The only one we have an active policy for is food rationing and our social policy. If we remove that, well, what it's doing right now is giving us, making our porcos be fed with 40% uh, reduced food consumption. It costs us uh, some state power. It costs us 15 state power, so we have no positive state power right now. Uh, we have 25% reduction in building efficiency because people aren't eating well and a plus 40% population conflict. So until the population starts to grow, we can we can handle it. Once they get too far up, we get population stress and population conflict going on. Modifies stress of population, modifies conflict to population, modifies the efficiency of building. All bad. And food consumption, well, okay. It requires less food for each porco to be satisfied for their food needs. So that's the only reason we want to keep it going now. If Perhaps we'll wait a little longer and then we'll, ins we'll institute that. But we'll see. Uh, but over here we can also change the uh, nation. We can change our nation's character title to Grand Kuba. Yep. That's what we're going to call them. Oh, we need to properly capitalize that. Of course, everybody needs to know His Holiness the Grand Poobah. Uh, did that set? Did that set? No. Hierarchy, chieftain. Um, territory title, that's fine. We can call the territory title the 
Grand Wallow. There you go. And he is the Grand Wallow? Oh, that's not how I intended that to have that turn up. That's right. Violent storm has happened, leaving a pile of 40 wood behind. The hunters have completed their hunt. Oh yeah, no, the hunters definitely did not do well. So it was the goats that were fighting back. So dangerous goats. That's all I gotta say. Dangerous goats. Let's bring them back to Wallsburg. Uh, solving conflict. We have the new technology for the Elder Council. It gives a resource called Justice, which helps to offset conflict, as well as a building for the Elder Council. We can use uh, old pigs to get to work on this. We have six of the six we need. So we'll get them to work right away. 83% chance of success. Unfortunately, we just lost a whole bunch of, well, seven pigs. It's unfortunate. Seven porcos died to that, so not cool. Uh, let's actually... Do we want to hunt the last batch here? Can we reinforce them by a couple? And then go hunting these camels? Let's do that. We'll leave the goats to their to themselves now. They're really they're really uppity bunch. Ah, down to the southeast here we have a new type of unit we found. This is the Porcanderthal. Porcoderthal. Porcoderthal. It's Neanderthals of the pig world. Right? The camels, man, they're really aggressive looking. But they're really not. They don't they just kind of run around. You don't want to actually tick off a camel in real life. I'm sure it would kick your butts, but maybe maybe pigs handle it better. But goats, they apparently get skewered really badly. So let's uh, look at this zone on the east of us. Did we look at that one? No, I don't think we did. Let's look at this one anyways. Oh my gosh. I think the camels are beating up all our people. Uh-oh. This did not turn out well. They have slaughtered my people. My poor, poor people. Oh, well. See, that was a bad play right there. The battle is over, indeed. Project This Is Mine has completed successfully. Well. <laughs> and the Project Solving Conflicts has also completed. So, this uh, tile uh, still has their herd of camels. Apparently... We, we lost, we did nothing right there. <laughs> nothing right at all. They got eight kills on us, and uh, we did nothing. We took out none of them. That was a horrible, horrible situation. Well, uh, let's look at this tile. There's uh, rocks. There's the little rocky, you know, sh uh, what is it, sandstone cliffs there. A lot of sand, a lot of gravel, a lot more sand and gravel, some trees, very thin amounts of trees, more sand and gravel, and more cliffs. Or sandy gravel, and nothing useful. So it's a bad place with camels that beat us up. All right, fair enough. So we're going to avoid going to uh, more conflict here. Um, oh, we can't reinforce that group because we have no stones left. Because we, they all died. Oh, and the camels are meandering away. These groups will wander, as you can tell, through the map periodically. 105 meat there, and 26 hide or leather. Uh, the capital itself has 216 or 212 rather meat on it, and apparently some of the hunters are not working on hunting. Uh, it is now in the negative. The fish has uh, evened out, so we were giving them 0.6 fish. They're getting 1.4 um, lettuce while well, stockpiling 0.4. That'll work its way up to 25, and then it'll station uh, stabilize there. And then that'll go, the rest of the storage stuff will go back to distribution. Getting 0.7 dates distributed, and they would like three. So nobody's really getting everything they want, water included. Uh, they're demanding three, they're only getting 1.2, so a lot of shortage on the water supply. Hopefully somebody will come up with the idea of doing something about that. But let's keep scouting the rest of this before we put in a cut for today. All right, so zooming out here, we see pretty much all barren nothing like everything else that we've looked at so far around us. A little bit of sandstone hills. Nothing of interest here except for a tiny little speck of almost nothing useful but a four tile of silver deposit. It's not even a two by two to allow for the later, better mining resources. So pretty useless there, but there is silver, so I wrote it down. 
Back out on the main map, we have uh, four more tiles to look at around... Uh, four more tiles? Three more tiles to look at around the base. Six, seven, and eight here. They're all river tiles. So we'll gander at those in just a second. But we just got well digging. Water in the ground. That's great. So let's see if we can... Do we have anybody to do that? No. We're really short in population, huh? Not great. Let's see what we can do here. If we can get... Uh, fix up their water supply. Now that they've got the idea, it won't go away. It'll always be in our list of possible researches. So we don't have to research it for the wells right now because we can simply feed them with water supply from the river. So we can't build a well with that tech, but we can sure get them started on building some more water sources here. Let's see. They have to be 15 tiles away from each other. That's three of them. That's four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. I think ten will be good for them. 10 food sources or water sources. Now, let those build and see how we how the water source adjusts. Right now we are plus a lot of water. We bring in 12, we're using distributing three, so everybody's gonna have their water needs met now. Let's look at the population. 200 percent They still haven't adjusted to realize that there's new available stuff. Camels spotted. Well we don't want any more camels, thanks. We have enough of their dealings. Uh, once the next event or next uh, update happens on this, we should see a big change in the vital statistics provided. <clears throat> We're at 68%. Sows is generally where I look. Um, it's a good uh, standard base. These kind of fluctuate, especially hunters are always terrible. But um, the sows, their access is now 49, uh, sitting at 49% to water and 68% on the food. Uh, there we go, just updated. They now have a hundred percent food or uh, water supply and still 60 well, 71 percent now food. Growth is now at a 3.8 positive. We have health of 26, intelligence of 17, and our average life quality is now six with vital needs being met 78 percent across the board. Keeping the livestock seriously. That is a great, great idea that just happened. Keeping livestock, a paddocks and a butcher. We can now actually house, we can capture animals, bring them here, and have a butcher take care of them. Let's get the five hunters working on that, see if we can uh, succeed on that one in the next eight minutes. Uh, we won't be able to do that this turn, but we're going to pop out here and have a look at the map. I think everybody is as housed as they're going to be. Actually, let's, let's finish off this um, couple stacks here of housing, and I'm going to put another set here so we've got ample housing for everybody don't want anybody to ever have to live in slums again hammers being produced all over the place that's great uh, new technologies nothing yet buildings there I think we have the ability yes to produce the elders but we can't yet because we haven't done what is that knowledge we need stacking stones we need stacking stones tech and that's inactives do we have any Two inactives? How well are you going to do that? Oh, it'll take you 17 minutes to do it. Uh, it's not great. Inactives for the water as well. I wonder if we maybe wait a few moments to see if we can get more inactives. Increase our population a little for one more tick. Let one more health, one more thing go by, one more life cycle sort of thing, and that'll give us another one. And then we'll do that tech. Uh, so let's look at the map before the end of this episode, and I think we'll scout those three areas for you, or show you what I've scouted, what I've already looked at in those three areas, which is actually pretty nice. The good stuff's coming up here. Let's go in this one, and then we'll put in the cut after that. All right, so here's the tile that is directly south of us. Southwest corner, we got uh, odd-looking cliffs and some sand and stuff, and we are on a river tile here, so there is a lot of water. Actually, it's quite a large river, very thick and lots of little offshoots and little deals going on here because this is one of a, those sort of weird crossing river points. We have a bit of fish here. 
It is a beautiful huge amount of empty green silt. This is all silt space. This is all thick amounts of food supply there. We do have water buffalo here as well on the shoreline. California palms, those are not going to be. I thought for a second there we had uh, date palms, but I don't think we do in this tile. Oh, those are the wrong kind of palm trees for this. Uh, so we have buffalo up there. We have fish. One tile of fish, one tile of buffalo. Lots and lots of silty green space in here. And I guess that's it. There is also clay, right? Ah, yes. There is some clay down here. Not a lot. But two decent sized patches of clay and lots of uh, cliffs for some stone mining. Interesting little spot up here that might be decent for... Uh, you know, a little citadel up there, so we could have an early, early defensive spot up on there. Not as big, so we couldn't do like massive storage up there, but we could eas easily supply enough dudes up there to fend off any attackers. We could also conversely do this space up here, which has a very similar tiny space of accessibility up there. So that's our first really nice potential tile there. Nothing for natural food sources though. That was uh, tile of region six. Let's look at region seven here. Actually, we're gonna show you eight first because I wanna save the best for the last. So this one is uh, to the west of us. All right, new ideas just popped up for us while we went into your look. It is pottery, clay exploitation, potters, and new resource of pottery. Uh, this is a great one. Uh, a piglet playing in the mud. Notice the type of malleable mud that dried under the sun and started playing with it. His mother in the basket craft is a basket crafter for the tribe. Unfortunately, her baskets are not the finest ones there is. Uh, the gatherers often complain about the crude weaving, and cereals often slip through, and rats manage to steal the rest. So she's not doing too good in her business. Uh, upon seeing her mud-covered son coming back, she had an idea to cover one of her baskets with it, and let it dry in the sun in the afternoon, making it hermet more hermetic, or well-sealed, uh, and putting an end to the gatherer's critiques. Unfortunately, the basket didn't last long in the mud, quickly cracking. Uh, it quickly cracked and fell from the basket's frame, the mud. Uh, she would like to request the help of a few tribes pigs to collect more of this mud and, uh, and time to try to make more of these special baskets. Uh, near the tribe's bonfire at night, it's often hotter than the sunny summer afternoon. Uh, she thinks that she would, uh, she should try placing the special mud near the very big bonfire to make it dry faster and harder. So, pottery. Events like that is what I think of honestly as one of the most brilliant additions to this game. That this game has brought to the idea. So we have three sows, um, decent difficulty. They're going to produce a bit of science for us. Uh, Cost 20 wood to do the job. It'll be 11 and a half minutes for them to conclude that. So while we are looking around this last two spots, they'll be working on that. Uh, great little spot here. We have a lot of riverside, which means we also have a lot of silk, silt rather. Very big swaths, pretty good size on either side. You could probably get three tiled um, farms in a row in there. We also have a nice spot of fish down here. We have a clay deposit, a decently sized clay deposit off to the right here. And... Uh, what else we got? I think we had some more. We have another fish spot there. And we also have ostriches up here. So again, really good, really good spot for us to build some population on. And a decent spot up here that we could probably defend reasonably well from. In fact, we would have to bridge up to this. So we could put a like a walkway up and then a bridge across. Or a wall across rather. We could like wall these tiles and put a walkway up to that thing. Then we'd have a spot where they could very easily defend. So uh, that's it for that tile. We'll have one more before we uh, put in the cut here. One more tile to look at. Uh, what finished? Keeping livestock is successfully finished. Excellent. So next episode we'll be looking at that. Asylum Seekers in Wallaceburg. Well, eight families are here and ten warriors to fight them off. Well, they fight off those evil evil doers we'll let them continue that fight and we'll have a look at the last but definitely not least the southwest tile all right so like i said this one is worth saving to the last fish fish 
fish. Three separate fish spots. I presume that's only three. We got uh, clay here. We got bu buffalo over here. We have more clay, I think, in a couple spots. I think I noted down that there was at least four spots of clay in this map. There's another one and another one there. I, I, I had let, made note of four, but I think there might only be the three spots. But then we also have this papyrus. That's right. We can make paper eventually. That is a big deal. And then the other one, there's no food, other food stocks in this one, but that's okay. We have the food stocks that we can grow here. Uh, where is the other spot? There was something out right up here. Here we go. Look at that stuff. It's barley. Muddy barley ground. So that's fantastic. We have a whole solid collection of what we need to make things happen. So this is going to be a great series. I'm really excited for the content that we can put together here in the city empire that we can build. Even though it will be a, uh, a solo play, I'm really looking forward to uh, enjoying it with you guys and letting you see how a uh, city can be developed on a river, on a very lush uh, arid river world. This is actually, I stand corrected, not on an arid river world, but this is actually desert river. So, uh, is there arid tiles anywhere? Doesn't look like it. Looks like we've only so far found desert. We have a barbarian camp down here and a, and a what's this, a uh, free city there. That's nothing going on with them now. They're just basically placeholders for now. Later we'll have tech there. This looks like another free city up to the northwest. And then Minior, Minior, we already dealt with them attacking us once. So hopefully that won't happen too, too many times until we have to go deal with it. Finish the war against the barbarians that brought us 10 more people. No, eight more families. So one last look at the city before we, uh, the stats in the city before we finish. We have now 15 inactives. It's fantastic. A positive growth of only 0.5. Looks like we are short on the food situation, but we'll get that sorted once we find agriculture. And uh, some new technologies to be had in the not too distant future. Stacking stones we can get going because we have lots of inactives now. So let's give them their five to work on that. 88% chance of success. That's great. That success rate goes up if your intelligence is higher. So we can we could throw a few more people on there, but not really worth it right now. Uh, water in the ground. Also, we have the folks to get to work on that. It's going to cost us eight hammers for that one and finish not too, too long in the distant future. Uh, the sows are working away there. So that's great. We have a total knowledge capacity of 59. So each of these are going to give, let's see, four there, 12 there and five there, that is 17, 21, math, yeah, 21 more knowledge. That'll bring us to 55, and we can hold 59 due to our culture. We have no libraries yet, so we have no uh, scribes to get to work on that sort of thing to help us increase our knowledge base. Uh, right now our culture is 591, score of 196, doing okay no new policies yet and uh we're the only ones in the world so that's okay for now other than that uh i think we'll put in a cut there and we'll be back with you guys shortly the city is doing well they've got lettuce they've got dates they got lots and lots of meat and they got some fish so things are going along quite nicely we have some new technologies i'd really like to get like javelins and agriculture uh, hopefully we'll get that in the next episode, but that's it for today. I'm going to trim down the nonsense parts so you guys will miss some of the boring parts. Hopefully this will be not much more than half an hour or 40 minutes worth of content, but we just recorded an hour and 10 minutes. So thank you everybody for joining me. And if you're interested in more of this content, please do hit the like button. I appreciate it. Uh, check out our streams Tuesday evening and Saturday during the day, um, Central Time, so uh, Central North American Time. Uh, look at that. Look for that if you want to check the streams on twitch.tv slash clan Hawkins, as well as thumbs up, likes, comments, and all that to let me know what I can do better on this one. Let me know that you guys are interested and hit the subscribe button if you are enjoying things. Looks like we got new technology, but we'll look at that next time. <sighs> Using dirt. Mm. Thank you so much, and we'll see you in game.